Bubba Baxa will kick it away. And Deion Jackson with those big all-purpose numbers a week ago will let that one slide. A test tonight against this Miami D. First and 10, they'll run it and bouncing to the outside and breaking free is Deion Jackson. He is gone. Touchdown, Blue Devils. 75 yards to open up the night, and there is a statement on Saturday right there. Beth, check this run out here. Deion Jackson, nothing's there. Everything gets washed down to the right side, and nobody's home. Backside, you got to have a defender waiting there. And if you think you're going to catch Deion Jackson, forget about it. He's out. Guy is Nikosi Perry, a redshirt freshman, and it's possible we might even see the true freshman, Jaron Williams, at some point. Rozier breaking some tackles and eventually wrapped up by Ben Humphreys. Picks up a couple. Third and 11 here for the Hurricanes. Set back by the penalty. Edge pressure is picked up. Rozier with time, throws it downfield, incomplete. Intended for Cager. Could see a lot of empty sets tonight. Jones flushed, and he's going to be close. Appears to be just shy, and it's fourth down in their win against Louisville. Rozier will hand it off, and Homer has the first down yardage out across the 40 and a run of 11. Got Homer offset. He's going to try for it, and Duke will stick him up. Ben Humphreys returning from injury and into the backfield. Fourth down. Rozier against a four-man rush. Throwing deep down the far sideline, and it's out of bounds incomplete. Feimster was all over Cager with the coverage. Off the stunt, they try to get to the quarterback. The throw is a completion, but well short of the marker. And it's fourth down. The redshirt freshman from Ocala. Heat in the end zone has to dump it off, and they're going to take a loss of five or six. Third and 13, they'll play it conservative here and keep it on the ground. Miami doing a nice job early. Jet sweep, ramming. Looks like he's got the first down yardage. Thank you very much, Rocky, on second and eight. I think America wants to know, Rock, are you in the wedding? Uh, were, there, were there any exchanges between you and the future bride and groom there? I, I had no say in the matter. <laughs> Four-man pressure, Jones drops it off underneath. It's caught by Taylor, but just a one-yard gain. Quarterman coming, and then the pooch punt by Daniel Jones. And it stays on the field of play and rolls out of bounds inside the two. That left turn to roll out of bounds. That yeah, quarterback quick kick and just pooches it up high. Ball takes a favorable bounce, big hit there. But again, that, that was a unbelievable, it's amazing. I don't know if that was Aussie style. I doubt he knows how to do it that way, but he definitely got the backspin. It's really just been the one big play, the 75-yard touchdown run for Duke. Perry will pick up the first down, and there's their first conversion out to the 15. Perry slings it, almost picked off, right into the hands of Jeremy McDuffie, and it's fourth down. Pressure in the backfield, Gerald Willis. Nine, the big guy. Just going to whip the double-team block. He becomes very slippery. It be advantageous for wide receivers if they can be on time and get their footing. A run it with Jackson. And wrapped up by Shaquille Quarterman, the junior middle backer. Now it's back to Rozier as the puddles have now moved up to waiting pools out there on the field. 
On a night where the rain is supposed to come down for a lot longer, and it's DJ Dallas. In a foot race inside the 10 touchdown Canes. And a slide in the end zone. 83 yards. Blocks, the big guy's getting the job done up front. And give it to one of your best running backs, number 13, DJ Dallas, taking it to the house. Touchdown, Canes. Durant stays in there. He'll go for it, trying to push his way forward. Stood up by that Miami front line. First and 10 out to the 46. Durant, good push by that defensive front. Willis was quickly in the backfield in a loss of two in that famous halftime show in the rain when Rocky won that championship with the Colts. Yeah, nice. Sporting what looks like Colt unis tonight. Ramming couldn't hold on to it for Duke. Plays to the offense's advantage because they know where they're going. Defense reacts. Another big hole right up the middle. And the burst. Down inside the 40-yard line goes Travis Holt. Touchdown saving tackle and a run of 43. In a running back, it's tough, but look at his cut on the wet turf here. Watch him just ride it out in the zone. He sees the hole, sticks his foot in the ground, and he is out the gate, folks. Tremendous speed. Blitz coming. Miami picks it up. Rozier. Short pass. Good reaction by the receiver, Cager, to stop on it and come back and get it. Matchup, Cager and Feimster. And, I, and I'm not quite sure if he wanted to underthrow this or not, but Cager does a nice job of coming back to the football and bringing it into his body and making it easy. Duke showing numbers in the box. They're coming. Rozier lost one into the end zone up for grabs incomplete. Jeez. And flags flying in What's the that? backfield. <laughs> Gonna be Homer with the cutback. Touchdown, Miami. How and find the open seam. But there's your senior. We talked about him up front the center. Look at this gap to run through. Just a nice job of getting the movement so your talented tailback can aggressively get it into the end zone get the quarterback out if you're going to decide to, to pass this. And there it is. On the rollout. Pressure coming. And down he goes. Joe Giles Harris, the leading tackler. The outside backer hauls him down. Backers in the ACC. Number 44. Look at him come right through untouched. And if you're a quarterback sprinting out, you've got to get the ball. It's going to be three times as harder when you're trying to get your footing and chase on this muddy field. Third down and nine. There's a little dump off pass and Lloyd hammered as he got out across the 30 yard line. Redwine and Willis were there and it's fourth down. Notre Dame tied right now with Northwestern seven apiece. 12-7 our score here with Miami leading Duke. Again, very interesting situation that develops in Penn State. Look, Trace McSorley, I love the kid. He's a warrior, but he is banged up and just been ineffective for Penn State. DJ Dallas with a nice run. And Jordan's going to cut Humphreys. Humphreys is already banged up with an injury. But again, you know, that's right across the thigh board when you teach guys... Although if you lose to another team in the top four, does that mean you do tumble out? <laughs> Maybe not for Alabama. Rozier on the run, chucks it out of bounds. Pressure right in his face, and it's Willis, and down goes Daniel Jones. Probably try to block this guy. Don't let him run in and nobody touch him. If I'm a guard, I don't care who's there. Go block that guy. If that's the wrong guy to block, at least the best defensive lineman is taken care of. Center six, number 63, Harmon's got to get that done. Excuse me, the left guard, Harmon. Comes from a family of athletes, including his sister, who already has a national championship with the Stanford volleyball team. As Rozier keeps it for the first down across the 35. Rambling for 19 yards. As a lineman, they've been moving them around for Duke. They got to get on the same page and create some holes for their offense. 
This is Travis Homer, and he's going to lose a couple. Ben Humphreys leading the charge. Nate here. Keep it on the ground with Homer, and he's going to come up a few yards short. Got five back there. Leonard Johnson, the safety with the hit, and it's fourth down. In consecutive punts, the longest they've held on to it, six plays. Under duress again, and he's got the seam route, and the catch by Bobo, and a first down into Miami territory. Forming pressure, Jones dumps it off, and a first down, Jackson out of the backfield. And the Canes and Blue Devils, a third down here. Good protection and incomplete. 83-yard touchdown run for Miami and DJ Dallas. Ball is out. Oh, Duke's got it. Ben Humphreys with the fumble recovery at the 12 and the first turnover. Did out. A game, it was going to be a game of mistakes in the wet weather. Keeping that ball secure. Tangelo does a nice job just poking his arm in. Just hits the top of the hand, Beth, and it just spins off the jersey. It's very wet. The ball comes out. Incomplete at the goal line, and it's fourth down. With only one made field goal in his last six games. This from 27 yards out. And it's good. LSU is keeping it close right now against Alabama in the first half. 9-0 tied. Looks like a, enough for the first down here for Travis Homer. Play action. Stepping into this throw. Completes it across the middle to Mike Hartley. Man-to-man -man sometimes, Beth, when you're running crossing routes going across field. Watch the top of your screen. Nice job of stair-stepping and pressing off, not with your hand. So maybe we can get our graphics department on, on that one. <laughs> well, you can tell it's helping Miami because they're throwing the ball a little more now, feeling a little more comfortable. Runs out of time here, and down he goes around the 33-yard line. Giles Harris and Niembwe yeah, got there, their first sack. Of the offensive line, he goes right here and shoots the gap. And it's about winning one-on-one -on -one battles, and it's been up and down with some of these young players. Donaldson, it was a freshman All-American. Duke trying to stretch out Dallas, and they do so, and he's going to lose a couple more. This looks like they're doing their part, but Joe Barrow and this offense for LSU just tough. Rozier going to run with it, breaking a tackle. And stumbling his way down to the 25-yard line. And that's exactly why to block kicks, but either way, I didn't take any of those classes. I don't think I can handle the, the second one, by the way. total <laughs> collegiate experience. Mind and body and Daniel Jones with the first down as he crosses midfield. Setting up the receiver oh, screen, and that's going to be a face mask, tacking on some yardage. Mike Smith got a hold of Lloyd's mask. Little jump pass popped up in the air. Oh, did he catch that? And it's that? caught wow. at the three-yard line. Deion Jackson to Daniel Helm. Best player going against Helm. He fakes out. Terrible pass, but Helm has the awareness to track the ball. You see the disappointment by J He'll keep it. There's another jump pass. Touchdown to Helm, and Duke jumps in front with an impressive 65-yard drive on nine plays. Watch this. He'll, everybody packs it in, and then all of a sudden, Helm will leak out. The linebackers will all get sucked up. See 53's eyes. Pinkney goes inside. Rozier stepping up, incomplete short on the throw. Second and four here for Daniel Jones. He's starting to use his tight end. Daniel Helm quite a bit, down inside the 40 and a first down. It's Michael Jackson with him defensively. 
They'll go underneath instead, ramming, and a good wrap-up tackle right there by Pinckney to hold him short. Jones looking for Helm, tipped in the air and intercepted. Jaquan Johnson's got it. Flag down on the play as Johnson returns it 11 yards the other way for Miami. Right end here and really deflects the ball. After the play, personal foul, unnecessary roughness. Number 70, Duke. 15-yard penalty, first down. Jaquan Johnson. Johnny on the spot. It just seems like that's what the Hurricanes do, Miami. They're always in the same, in the right spot for turnovers, and again, they get another one, and they're going to whip out the turnover chain after that. Let's see what we can get here for Miami's defense, offense. No Joe Giles Harris defensively here for Duke as they set up the screen. Oh, man. And his replacement just stripped the ball loose, Brandon Hill. Watch this as, uh, let's run this out. Watch. On your screen here, they're going to run the draw. Watch 34 come into your screen from right to left. Watch him stick his right arm out. Just enough to pull the ball. You've got to secure the football, Rocky. That's a big-time play by the linebacker, Humphreys. And, Anthony, the most impressive part is he sniffed that screen out. He anticipated. He saw it coming. And it already started going towards... And it's fourth down. Duke showing a blitz off the right side. They're coming at Perry. Ball is knocked loose on the deck. And Duke is able to jump on it at the five-yard line. Third turnover tonight for Miami. Just under 12 minutes to go here. Duke looking to add to its lead. And there is the catch for Jonathan Lloyd, close to the 20. Under center now for Jones with a tight end in the backfield. And they'll run the reverse. Lloyd got a block on the edge and going to come up about a yard short. And it's good coverage can you find the open hole and deliver an accurate pass Perry connects short of the marker over eight minutes to go here for Duke they have the eight point lead in the football and they got a big opening here for Neon Jackson first down out across the 40 Daniel Jones could be a factor on this pullout they will run it Durant's got it Linebackers may start creeping to try to stop the run. Do they slip one over top with a pass? And of course, Miami's defense, they want more plays just like that because they know they're a touchdown and a two-point conversion away from tying this thing up. A pair of fumbles that you just saw from DJ Dallas tonight. It's back to Nikosi Perry here, the redshirt freshman at quarterback. As the Blue Devils try and win here in Miami for the first time since 1976. One first down this evening. Perry flushed. Nice move. He'll get out across the 20, and he's going to be short. Under three minutes now as it continues to tick away. Perry looking downfield, and he's got the completion, and it's Jordan who hangs on with the help of his shoulder pad. First and 10, under two and a half to go. Still with a couple of timeouts. They'll run it. Homer. First down. Got a two-way run or pass here. They're going to run it again. They'll get the first down. Stops the clock momentarily. 105 to go. They need the touchdown and the two-point conversion. Speed the process up if you're Perry. Just a little more urgency. And it just started raining again here in Miami. Perry sacked back at the 45. Yeah. And Miami's going to have to call a timeout to stop the clock. Yep. The rain comes pouring down again. The Mway, number one, getting in there, making a move, and then Tangelo on the spots. Late in the game. Can they make it work? They'll run over. Breaking tackles. And he stayed in by the benefit to. of the doubt there got a foot out. Well, they're lucky there, wow. boy. Canes lose. They're pretty much knocked out of contention to get back to the ACC championship game for the second year in a row. 
They're also in danger of dropping their third straight game. And link up and make a big play. Duke lost a late lead in the fourth quarter to Pittsburgh last week. Can Miami do it to him again? Harley with the catch down to the 14. Got to spike it. Got to spike it. Perry on the rollout. Heaves it up for grabs. Incomplete. And Duke wins it. Damn. Duke with the road 